we are going to draw a line graph of a village population. So our heading that we put there will be village population. So that's the name of our graph. A graph has got x axis and the y axis. So this is the x and this is the y. On the x axis we have the years. What we put on the y axis is what changes. So we we'll put a population there. Our years we start from uh, 2000 right up to 2000 and 20. So we have 2000, then we have 2005, then we go to 2010, then 2015, then 2020. Our population is going right up to 10,000. So here we should start from zero then uh, we can make each line a thousand but we cannot say one thousand there two thousand and write everything we are going to find a way of doing it in a better way so let's put the marks first these are the marks that we have and the interval on this side must be equal it will be nice that we can use, we can say maybe 2,000, 4,000, we can go in twos. So we can go say 2,000, then the next one will be, we write 4,000 there, then we write 6,000 there, then we write 8,000 there, then we write 10,000 there. But now because our graph is ending at 10,000, we cannot end at 10,000, we've got to put something extra at the top okay especially on the variable side now after we have done that it's time for us to look at the population against the years right let's see in 2000 it was 3000 so this is 2000 we go up 2000 so it was 3000 here then we go on to 2005, it was now 7,000. 2005 up 4,000, 6,000, 7,000. There. Then we go to 2010, it was now 9,000. 2010, it was 9,000. It went up to, uh, my dot is not right on the spot, right? 9,000. In 2015, uh, the population went down to 8,000. Right, uh, 2020, uh, it was 10,000, so this is 2020. Right, once you have uh, done that, you use a ruler to draw the lines. So we start and that joins from there. You draw the lines independently. Make sure your lines are accurate. Then we end there. So this is our line graph that we have.